We've seen some incredible grappling in the first couple of seasons of the PGF, but here are the top three techniques that made PGF history. The wrestling of Jake Elkins. You know, he's not really even a jujitsu guy at this point. He's just bringing wrestling to the table, but he's a lifelong wrestler. Not just a wrestler, but a coach of high level wrestlers. Elijah, I'm hoping to see a little bit more. Ooh, nice. Another slide by right into. But I bet his base is amazing. Because, and as I say that, he falls. Man, the wrestling in jiu jitsu is trash. If I find something that's not, I'll let you know. In the meantime, it's at Ironclad Wrestling or freaking Ironclad Methods. And. Maybe not the wisest choice, Evan. Oh, these are big boys, man. Don't both these guys just look bigger? Like when you see it, but I understand where he's coming oh, from. Pass by. This is a pass by clinic. Yes. That's like the seventh one he's, he's hit. Ten. Both Seven. men standing. A little wrestling exchange. Terrible oh. idea for Sam. I just know this match. Like the takedown means so Ooh. much to both these guys. More than the sub does. Randy addresses it. Oh, oh. Single leg attempt. Jake is just showing out right now. Oh man, I definitely slept on Jake. Um, I didn't realize how much of a better jujitsu wrestler he was. Dude, no one wants to wrestle with me. It's not. It's going to end poorly. Okay, and so I grew like. Listen, we cut our teeth blitzing kids from Duke when I was in college. He shows that, as far as grappling is concerned, he's a black belt. Hunter Colvin's rolling Kimura. He used. I don't know if it was every match during season two, but it was pretty much every match. I actually liked Evan on top right there. More roll attempt to that, the back. That's you. Does a good job though in averting. Man, Blind Hunter's Kimura. so good at the Kimura trap. Fun fact, Hunter's hands are giant. <laughs> They're bigger, this is, this is the plex. Jake. We've seen it multiple times. You cannot let Hunter get that rolling Kimura. On the cutting edge. Oh, Kimura roll. Man. This is his move though. He basically hits this technique on every single person through the season and in the playoff. Nobody could stop it. And you know, he would show you other things and then he'd get you distracted and he's looking right for that Kimura and we know he's gonna try and take the back off this Kimura. And it's immediately looking to pass. Just made it look so Straight easy. Straight into that Kimura All trap. Right. Roll into the back. Hunter's just so comfortable in that pocket. Just a master class of passing. And there he is. He's in on the Al rolling Kimura. Already deep on that rolling Kimura. This is his move. He beat him, but I don't feel too bad because he beat me the same way I beat 14 other grown men. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's levels. Hunter Colvin, one of the most dominant athletes we've ever had in the PGF. And his rolling Kimura was the thing that led him to that dominant. <laughs> Without question, the signature technique of the PGF belongs to the bad guy, the jabroni, Elijah Carlton. It's his triangle check. Ooh, what a triangle setup. Matt just float over. Sometimes he's fighting the leg off, like trying to go back. Ooh, but Elijah's in on the triangle. Get a frame in between him and Elijah. Oh, we see the mounted triangle instead. That was incredible, but Elijah pops in a triangle. Probably. Oh, and never mind, it's the mounted triangle. Oh, into a triangle, this is tough. Oh my gosh. Arm locks that, that Jonathan likes. Oh, what a triangle setup. Much, 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 much better grappling if he's on top. Yeah, Mike on bottom, it looks like he's having a hard time. He just fell right into another triangle. He hit it multiple seasons. You know it's coming. Ooh, Elijah's starting to lock this triangle up. He's gonna get the tap. Oh, Elijah yeah. Carlton. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, he's in on a triangle. He's got multiple setups. But really, it's his setup where he goes to the back of the tricep and then lifts the hips and flips that butterfly hook out. That's the thing that just kept Ooh, catching and this people. This is his triangle her. setup. Elijah's going to get this. He's in on the triangle. So immediately pulls into butterfly guard. 
and looking for that triangle. Oh, he's already got the he's already got the arm. He's got the triangle. He's gonna. When I think about his triangle, I always think about that Jake Elkins match, where Jake, even in the preview, he says he knows that the triangle is coming. Wait through the screen. Dude, I've rolled a lot with Jake, so I definitely know what it's like, Elijah. Oh, <laughs> this is God, the Elijah triangle, he's and he's laughing. And Elijah sets him up, gets his hand on the back of the tricep, and as soon as it happens, you just you could zoom in on Jake's face, and he just is so he just can't believe it's about to happen to him too. Oh, <laughs> this is the God, Elijah triangle, and he's laughing. <laughs> this is the Elijah. He needs to get the. He wants that tricep. He's got the two on one. Elijah put out. Oh, Elijah put out a whole he's got it. video about this. Dude, I've stolen it. Dude, he's got that. Oh my gosh. How many times does he have to hit it? You know, uh, while Hunter's Kimura, you know, was devastating, most of the time he used that to hit arm bars and, you know, or, or turn it into back takes. I mean, I think Hunter, I mean, Hunter hit way more RNCs than he did Kimura's during season two. Elijah has finished, I mean, how many people with triangles in the PGF history? I mean, it's in the double digits.